and you can see the mirror effect. When I double click it, I am optimizing the wheel. We touch to the wheel 44 times. AI at the back side starting to calculate all the points. Yes, now we have 830 points. Welcome to Attack TV YouTube channel. This is Ilter. I would like to introduce you new features, the new key features of Elegance Wheel Diamond Cutting Expert TP02HV, the new version of it. Let's start. So as you may remember from the TP01HP, we have four different modes on our main menu. The first one is new, the second one is open, the third one is free mode, and the fourth one is pro mode. So first I will start with the new mode because we have a, for instance, we have a new wheel here. Now let's start. So I, because we're gonna cut the upper surface of the wheel, I will go with horizontal. And now I will use my camera inside, which is somewhere here, to, to take a picture. I can zoom in here. And then at the end, we will use this picture for the report. So here we are checking the run out. And yeah, it's, it's good for now. On the next page, to start scanning, I am turning my probe and first I will set my start point. I am using my hand wheel to move the probe stylus to find the start point, a good start point to cut this wheel. I set it, now I am going up and it's time to find the end point which is somewhere around here, yes and when I find it, I also set it and I need a safe point which is around one centimeter above the highest point of the wheel on the next page we will set our scanning settings and I would like to show you a, one of the best features of this machine and the unique feature in the market in all over the world. As you can know from the other machines in the market which they are scanning with probe, uh, generally they are scanning with 0.5 mm, 0.5, 0 0.5, for every single 0.5 mm they are getting uh, data from the, um, from the wheel. But now because this is so time consuming, we developed a new software for it and we are scanning this wheel. We are starting with 2mm and we are increasing it to 8mm. So let's start with 2mm and during the scanning process I will change the speed and you will see how fast we are scanning the wheel. Normally this kind of a wheel takes like at least 5 to 6 minutes to scan but now I will show you how to scan it super fast. So after the save point, it's going to find the start point. Yep, now it's scanning with 2mm. I am increasing it to 4, as you can see here. And I want to show you the 8mm scanning future. You see how it is climbing the hill. And also I want to show you this. It doesn't matter if there is any scratch or if there is any damage here. You see, for instance, we have a damage there and I will show you how to fix it with the new software of the wheel. And let's imagine we have one more damage here. Oops, we have one more damage. And I will show you how to fix these two damages with the help of our new wheel optimization tool of the wheel, which is also unique in the world. As you can know, this process takes super long time, especially for this kind of an 18 or 19 inch wheel, it takes 5 to 6 minutes, but you can see we are doing this in less than in a minute. And I will get slower at the end of the wheel. Yes. No scanning process is done. Now it's time to get help from the new tool optimization tool. 
and you can see two damages here on, on the wheel. So for instance, we had, a, we had two damages here and now with the help of our new tool optimization tool up the wheel, I'm gonna fix all of them. Yeah, so what we need to do now, I am just touching to the green line to make my optimization, to optimize the wheel. I can change all the points here. I can go up and down, up and down. And this is an easy wheel, but if it was a hard wheel, it would take also so much time. So while um, gaining some time from the scanning, we would lose some time here. So what we, what we did, we asked AI to help us and with just one button, we are fixing, we are optimizing all the wheel. But you can see, it's also thinking that we have some problem here. But when I double click it, I am optimizing the wheel. Yep, it's almost ready. If I want to extend the endpoint, I can go over, I can make some manual adjustments here, I can check all the curves, and if I would like to change my start point, I can also change it. And let me notice this, if there was an AMG logo for instance here, and I don't want to cut it, I will move all my points up like this, or with my finger. And I will skip that AMG uh, logo at the end, or as you know, most of the scratches are becoming here, and then if I would like to cut deeper here, I would change my endpoint and this point, so I would cut more at the end of the wheel. Yeah, let's go over again. I will re-optimize. I will just click these points to delete them. I will extend my start point. This is a good one. And then I will extend my start point. Yep, it's almost ready to cut. And as you can see here, we touched to the wheel 44 times. Yeah, so let me show you the reference points. We touched to the wheel 44 times, and now we need more detail, more points to get a better surface. So I change my interval to 0 0.4, or I can change it to 0 0.3. And when I press up the build button, it is starting the AI at the backside, starting to calculate all the points, and it will give me a precise surface. Yes, now we have 830 points. So from 44 points, from 44 reference points to 830 points. It is ready to cut. Let's make a safe, safe cutting. I will increase my speed. I will increase my cutting speed to save some time. So the cutting tool will go faster. When I press G-code button, it starts to generate the G-code. And I am changing the cutting tool here. Yep. It's almost ready. And on the next step, we have a simulation. What is simulation? I will turn my hand wheel and we will go over the wheel to make a pre-cut, a dry cut, uh, to see if there is any problem on my scanning or if there is any problem on the wheel. And we spoke one of, the, we scanned one of the spoke here, but that spoke might be lower than the others. So if I start to cut directly, I can damage the other side of the wheel or I can damage my cutting tool or I can damage the machine. So I just want to be sure there is no any problem on the wheel and my scanning is super well. So I can turn the wheel to check if it is all good. Yep. I don't need to finish it. I can stop wherever I want. And then when it is ready, I just need to close the door. I can adjust my air nozzle. I can start to cut. So because I am going minus 0 0.1 millimeter, I am waiting. Uh, I'm assuming that it will not touch on the wheel and then I will increase the depth. It will start to cut. It's now nearly touching or not touching. So I can stop somewhere here. I can go back to my settings. I can go 0 0.1 millimeter deep. So this will be the two times safe cut. Now it will start to cut. Yes. And I guess you can see the color change on the wheel. So this is a fast cutting option now. 
and we will see lots of grooves on the wheel. We can see lots of threads on it. Uh, mostly BMW wheels are using this kind of a surface, but it sometimes takes a couple of more layers to, to fill all the threads with the help of clear coat. Uh, while it is cutting, let me tell you about this. On our new model, we changed the center of gravity of the machine. It gets lower and we have a new vibration absorption system on the body and the old vibration goes to the bridge of the machine. And also we changed the x-axis structure. Uh, and also we have a new shelf here. So it's easy to place everything. Yeah, you can see now, I'm not sure if it is possible to see, but maybe I can do like this to, to show you. You can maybe feel, you can maybe have yeah. sound here. Have lots of thread. Now I will show you how to make it mirror effect. Let me close the door. Yep. Let's go back. Go deeper and change the feed rate to 50. If you would like to increase the spindle speed, you can also do it, but I will not. Of course, these settings are changing in every single wheel, but for this wheel, 50 to 400 spindle is good for me. I kind of ask you to take a video here and they can see the difference between the right side, the new cut place and the left side of the wheel. We talk about the control panel here. So we have a hand wheel here, we have an on-off button, a USB here. If you would like to uh, plug a keyboard, you can use it. We have a door release button, so when it is working, you can't open the door even if, if, you, if, you, if you press here. And even if you try to open it manually, all the process uh, will stop. We have an interior light turn on and off button, and we have an emergency button for any emergency. Also, you can use the stop button to stop the process. It is super compact, you just need 2.14 meters square to place this machine in your shop. I'm not sure if it is possible to hear or is it possible to see from the video. There is no any vibration on the machine, which affects the surface of the wheel. So we are almost done. And because we are cutting slow to get the mirror effect, it takes longer, of course. But, but I will kind of ask you to show the wheel on the floor and then you can, you can see how does it look like when you making sure it like this you find something colorful mm. you show the shelf here so with the new model TP03H we have a shelf we have two shelves here you can store all cutting tools, cutting tips, other tools you need here. Yes, the wheel is done. Let me clean these and let me show you the surface. Now you can see the mirror effect. So you can comb your hair on this wheel. And this one is ready to go in the powder or painter to apply a clear coating. Let me show you the next step. The next step is saving. We can put your customer name here. Oops, I'll take plate number, the car brand. That's right, Mercedes Benz. It comes automatically in the car model. If it is front left field, you can write front left, front right, real left, real right. If you add email here, you can send email directly to your customer or you can send email to your shop and at the end I will take an after picture here yeah yeah and when I save it it will generate me an automatic report we have a unique process number we have the date we have the brand name the customer name the profile the total that we cut before and after of the, of the wheel and on the next step if you want to cut the same wheel for instance this is the front left and if you would like to cut the front right wheel you can just say one more time and you don't need to scan the wheel again and next step the main menu you can find the wheel by the car brand or the unit process number when you search it you can find you can check if it is the same wheel 
Yes, it is the same wheel and you can just reopen it and you don't need to scan it again. For instance, after the uh, same car came back to your shop uh, with the same car and same wheel. Yeah, so roughly I tried to explain everything, the all new features and also yeah, most of the software for, for the rest of the info, please check below. Have a great day, bye bye.